Have you been thinking about getting a second bachelor's degree? In case you have, then this video is definitely for you because here in this video or this video series, I want to share with you my thoughts on whether or not it is really necessary to get a second bachelor's degree. If you're watching this video, then chances are that you either already have a bachelor's degree or you perhaps are about to graduate and you are considering whether or not you should just continue school and get a second bachelor's degree. And here, before I say anything else at all, what I want to say to you is please, please, please don't rush into making a rash decision. Please take your time. You out of all people know how much money it costs to get a bachelor's degree and how much time and effort you spend on it. And once you enrolled, once you're signed up, then you are going to spend two, three, four precious years of your life pursuing that degree. So before you make your final decision, please take some time to hear me out and I will try to give you some insights that might be useful to you in making your decision. In case you're new to this channel, I make videos on multiple careers, career change, motivation, and other topics that help you to improve in the important areas of your life. So in case you don't want to miss out on any of my other upcoming videos, then you might want to consider to hit the subscribe button now. And also don't forget to hit the little notification bell, because only if you do will YouTube actually notify you of my new videos. There are many different reasons why people might consider getting a second bachelor's degree. It could be the case that you are trying to get a promotion and you think that you need to get a second bachelor's degree or you want to change your career completely or it might also be the case that you have some regrets about your first bachelor's degree and now want to rectify it by studying a subject that you are actually interested in or you might also simply feel that you are lost and you hope that by getting a second bachelor's degree you might get some insights about what to do next in your life. So rather than give you a template answer, I want to try to break up this video into a video series consisting of four to five parts. And in each of these parts, I will try to address a specific situation or challenge that someone might find themselves in and try to lay out the considerations that you might want to make before making your final decision. So today in this first part, I want to address the situation where you are thinking about getting a second bachelor's degree because you want to change careers. And and I want to share with you a bit about my personal experience in relation to this. The reason why I felt it was important to make this video is because there was a point in time where I myself was really contemplating whether or not I should get a second undergraduate degree in either acting or filmmaking because my first degree was business administration and I really wanted to work in the entertainment industry. So I was thinking a long time really hard about whether or not I should get a second bachelor's degree and there were a lot of things that I considered and weighed off but in the end I decided that I would not get a second bachelor's degree and um, later in either this video or the next video I will tell you a bit more about why what my reasoning was in general I would say that of course there are benefits to getting a second bachelor's degree so I don't agree with those people who say that getting a degree is always a waste of time and it is no use at all because again like I said before it is always situation specific it depends on what your vision is what your goals in your life are what you are trying to achieve so no one can just give you a blank template answer and say no it will be of no use at all don't don't do it but of course you have to weigh off the benefits against the costs and the obvious costs of course is are the tuition fees, uh, the money that you have to spend in order to study. And this money might come from your own savings, it might come from your parents, or you might even get a loan, or if you're lucky, a scholarship. But in any case, financial resources are used here. So you need to ask yourself, are those financial resources Put to best use or not. I always think that money in many situations is often not the biggest 
issue or the biggest cost. The bigger cost even is the time and the effort or energy that you spend in pursuing that second degree because time is not something that you can buy or get back. You only live those three years of your life once and you can never get those back. So you have to also think of your opportunity cost. Instead of taking time to get that second bachelor's degree, what else could you have done in the meantime? What else could you have spent your precious energy on? So today in this video, I will talk about whether or not it makes sense to get a second bachelor's degree if your goal is to change careers. And then in the next upcoming two or three videos, I will talk about different situations, which include that you want to get a second degree because you want to get a promotion or because you simply just want to continue to stay in school or you just feel lost. Something that I often hear about among my own acquaintances, but also on forums on the internet is that people already have a bachelor's degree or even a master's degree and have worked um, in a certain industry for several years, let's say finance, but then they realize that they don't really like working in that industry and they want to radically change their careers and work in another field. And then their first instinct is often to get a second undergrad degree. They think that they need to start from scratch, that they need to start from the beginning and learn everything from the bottom up. And in some way that is true. You need to in some way start from the bottom again and learn everything. However, getting a second bachelor's degree, spending three years or four years studying again is not always the most sensible solution. There's a question that I want to ask you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Number one, you are already certain or you are at least let's say 90% sure of what kind of career change you want to make, what kind of career path you want to follow, or what kind of job or job position you want exactly. Or do you fall into the second group, meaning that you don't like the industry or the job you're working now, and you definitely want to change your career, but you are not really certain what you want to do after that. Maybe you have some kind of feeling that you'd rather work in the fashion industry rather than in the pharmaceutical industry, but you don't really know for sure yet what you want to do there, what job exactly you want to have or what career path you would like to pursue. If you fall into the second group, then I would urge you to spend even more time thinking what you want to do next before even thinking about whether you want to pursue a second bachelor's degree. In fact, I would recommend you to watch one of my earlier videos, which I will link up here, which will help you to find out what steps you need to take if you want to start making a career change. By spending just a little bit more time planning it and thinking about it in the beginning, trust me, it will save you a lot of money and hassle and headache later on. So now let's move on and let's assume that you fall into the first group, which means that you already know for sure what you want to do. Then in that case, think about which of the following three categories your ideal profession or your new career would fall into. Stay tuned till the end because I have a strong feeling that most of you watching this video have career goals which relate either to the second or the third category. The first category are regulated careers or jobs, such as being a doctor, a a psychotherapist, a vet veterinarian, or even a lawyer. These are all jobs, careers that are highly regulated. And what I mean by regulated here, by the way, is that a certain job or position by law requires you to have a specific corresponding degree. So if the thing that you want to pursue is regulated, then you will need to get a second degree, like it or not. It is likely that you will need to start from the bottom and get a second bachelor's degree. Then there are certain jobs or careers that are regulated for which you need a certification but not necessarily a bachelor's degree. Examples for these would be certain technician jobs, therapist jobs, nursing, landscaping, and many others. So for these kind of jobs, you don't need a bachelor's degree. In most cases, an associate degree or a certification or a license will do. What kind of exact qualification you will need, you will need to find out yourself. Make sure that you really do your research so you don't run the risk of getting a bachelor's degree that you won't need in the end. That was kind of obvious, right? 
But here are two more categories and this can be a bit more confusing. Careers that fall into the second category are careers that are not regulated, but still in that industry there is a certain preference of, among the hiring professionals and managers to hire people of a suitable educational background. Let's say for example in banking, in marketing and finance there are many many jobs in that area where you do not always need to have a corresponding degree. For for example, if you want to um, work in marketing and later on become a head, the head of marketing, you do not necessarily, you do not always have to have a degree in marketing. There are in fact head of marketings which have a background in mathematics or engineering or, or other fields, but still it is preferred. And what I mean by that is that someone who has an undergrad degree or in general a degree in marketing would have a slight edge over someone else who had a degree, let's say, in, in literature or in physics perhaps but of course this is a very broad generalization so in the case where a certain job or position is not regulated but a corresponding degree is preferred then the decision can become a bit tricky let's say that you've previously worked as an interior designer and now you're thinking of working as an accountant of course, it will help tremendously to get a job if you have an undergrad degree in finance or in accounting or in business administration. But it is not an absolute must. And I know this from one of my own friends who had a background in graphic design but is now actually working as a junior accountant. Of course, at one point in his career, he might hit a ceiling in order to get promoted to the next step um, to become, for example, a senior accountant or the CFO. He might need to either get an undergrad degree or perhaps just a CPA. But in general, in the beginning, if you just want to get into accounting or even you want to get some experience in accounting and see what it's like or maybe you even still want to have some time to make up your mind whether or not accounting is really for you or not in the beginning if you're just starting out if you're just starting out in bookkeeping you can certainly start out without having an undergrad degree in that field of course you might still decide to get that finance degree or accounting degree anyway but chances are that after you graduated you might still need to start from the bottom anyway and start from an entry level position. So you really need to ask yourself, will it actually be worth it? Will those three years and those um, 20 to $50,000 per year spent on this education be really worth it? Will it really help you that much to start a new career or not? And as this is sort of a gray area, meaning it's not clearly defined, the only way that you can find out whether getting an undergrad degree really helps to pursue your new career is to talk to people who actually made that kind of career change or who are actually working in the industry that you want to work in. You can also try to go online and check in forums such as Reddit or on Google or on YouTube and just find out how the people who are already in your ideal in your dream career got into that position in the first place. Let's move on to the third and last category and this is the category of jobs or careers where a degree is fancy, is nice, might be a bit useful but eventually doesn't really matter. And this is where I want to share with you some of my personal experience. So a bit about my own background. I got a master's degree in business administration from a university in Germany. And after graduation, I worked for about five years in banking, specifically in project management. And after that, feeling that um, I was not really suited to that industry, I didn't really want to pursue a career in banking any longer, I decided to quit my job because I wanted to work in the entertainment industry. What I wanted to do is acting and to produce films. So at that point in time, I was asking myself, I spent a lot of time thinking, should I get an undergrad degree in acting or filmmaking? And of course, there would have been a lot of benefits had I studied acting or filmmaking because I would have access to a lot of mentors, a lot of industry professionals who I could ask for advice and ask a lot of questions. And learning would be pretty easy because there's a curriculum, a syllabus, and I would just need to follow that and 
do the group assignments and projects and there is this whole support system already set up for you and another advantage and what i think is the biggest advantage of studying is the network you will have access to if you're studying pursuing an undergrad degree or even a master's degree it is very easy to make connections to relevant people in the industry but as i said earlier there are also a lot of other things that you need to consider in this kind of situation getting an undergraduate degree in filmmaking or any other field is not cheap it easily costs 30 to fifty thousand dollars a year depending on whether you're a local and international student or in which country you are studying in but in any case it costs a lot of money money that at that time i had but i wasn't really willing to spend because come on i spent five long years working really hard in my banking job and trying to save up some money and would i really want to just spend all of that money just to get a second undergrad degree not really sure another thing that i also considered is the time that it would take me it would easily take me three or four years in order to complete an undergraduate degree and i was asking myself what were the things that I could have done in the meantime. So instead of getting that second bachelor's degree or even a master's degree, I decided to just take things into my own hand. I took a short-term acting course and I started to get a few roles in short films and in independent productions. And I also decided that I wanted to produce my own feature films and also act in those films. And after three years, I actually managed to produce and act in two feature films which were screened at international film festivals. That was a rather long detour, but what I actually wanted to say is that there is a certain category of jobs or careers um, that are not regulated and for which you really do not necessarily need another undergraduate degree. In fact, what matters most here is your creation, your ability to create a product or a service or just to perform. And that is what matters in the end to the people hiring you or to the people who you work with. In the end, no one will ask what your undergrad degree was. I mean, that might be a plus, but it doesn't matter as much as the things that you actually created in the real world. And the type of careers and jobs that fall into this career are among others, writing, filmmaking, like I said, design and also entrepreneurship. And there are, of course, many others. So you really need to ask yourself, this new career that you are trying to pursue, is it part of this third category and if it is then really really think hard whether or not you want to take that second bachelor's degree if you are someone who wants to change their career uh, to work in one of those fields that i just mentioned you might be asking me at this point so in summary should i or should i not get a second bachelor's degree an important consideration and question that you need to ask yourself is are you a self-starter or not because jobs and careers in this area, in these industries, require a lot of initiative. If you want to pursue a career in filmmaking and writing and entrepreneurship, you do not necessarily need to have a degree. But on the other hand, while pursuing this, no one will actually tell you what to do and when to do something. You need to come up with your own plan. You need to come up with your own working schedule. You need to think for yourself what you need to do next. There are a lot of things that you will need to figure out by yourself. Whereas if you were to take an undergrad degree, you would have access to a whole support system, to the professors and counselors, and they will actually tell you what you need to do. They will tell you in this first semester, you need to study this and this, you need to read these books, etc. In the second and third sem semester, you will need to do this group assignment, these tasks, these quizzes. And um, there, is, there is a system already set up for you and you don't need to put in any thought into what you need to learn. You just, you just need to learn learn it. But if you don't study, if you do it on your own, then you will need to carve out this path by yourself, which is not impossible. And again, that is why you need to ask yourself, am I a self-starter? Am I proactive? Am I disciplined enough to do this on my own? And always also ask yourself, instead of pursuing a second undergrad degree, are there other options, other ways that you can get the same knowledge and the same practice and maybe access to experts in that field? Perhaps you could do an online course like a Coursera course 
there are so many resources nowadays available on the internet or you could maybe join an association or go to a seminar there are so many ways how you can learn nowadays i hope that this video was in some way helpful in your decision making process in deciding whether or not you want to go back to school and get a second bachelor's degree i would be really curious to know about your career goals and your thoughts on this so please feel free to share these in the comments below if you prefer to read the content instead of watching it in my videos you can also read my blog posts on my website multiplecareers.com so this was the first part in my series of do you really need to get a second bachelor's degree if you enjoyed this video then please like it and also share it with your friends who might benefit from it and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as always, I thank you so much for watching. I wish you an awesome day and I hope to catch you again soon.